Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly love reading for the final week of April 2021. I hope you guys are doing well. I am going to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading, therefore it may not resonate with everyone. If you would like a private reading, the information is in the box beneath this video. Um, also keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can flip-flop, so roles can reverse, and timelines are fluid. Um, I'm going to pull your energy, Aquarius. I'm going to pull the energy of the person you're connecting with as well as the energy of the connection itself and the outcome. And then at the end, in the end of the reading, excuse me, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Aquarius? All right, so we start out with the Ten of Cups in the reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse and the Two of Wands. All right, so it looks as if there may be um, a connection that has ended or it's just, if it hasn't ended, it's just not emotionally fulfilling. Um, so it could be either, actually, um, but I do think that regardless, it's left you a little bit unbalanced, Aquarius. And I do think that you are looking at taking a new direction. Um, you're kind of at a crossroads here. So it, it's very possible for some of you, the, the connection is already ended. For some of you, you're, you're contemplating it. But regardless, there's a sense of imbalance here. And I do think that this crossroads, um, once you choose a new direction, I do think that it's going to be um, it's going to be full of growth, regardless what direction you go. So what's important here, Aquarius, is that you you move in a direction. It, it's going to be fruitful for you, regardless which way you go. But I do have a sense that you're at somewhat of a crossroads. Um, let's look at the person you're connecting with. So who is Aquarius connecting with? Who is Aquarius connecting with? Okay. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. We have the Hangman in reverse. And we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so... The person you're connecting with here, I feel like they may have gotten what it is that they wanted in the past, but they've realized that it's not what made them happy. Um, so they got everything they wanted, but it, it didn't make them happy, and they've realized this. Um, it took some time for them to realize it, but they've realized it. And I also feel like the person here is, um, with the Nine of Wands in reverse, they're kind of giving up on this situation because they've realized it's, it's not what is really going to make them happy. Um, it took some time for them to realize this, but they, they now have a new perspective on it. What is the energy of this connection? What is the energy of this connection? Five of Wands, conflict. So there's conflict within this connection. That makes sense, though. Um, with the Five of Wands, though, what I can tell you is that I'd rather see, if there's going to be conflict, Aquarius, I'd rather see the Five of Wands because if it was like the Five of Swords, no good comes from the Five of Swords. At least with the Five of Wands, the conflict is going to produce growth. So that's, that's a good thing um, for both parties, actually. So this is the type of conflict that can produce growth, um, but there is conflict in this connection. What is directly affecting this connection? What is directly affecting this connection, please? Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there's love in the connection, but there's also some codependency in this connection. There is a lot of love. Um, a lot of love, but there's codependency as well, and that's affecting this connection. What is the outcome? The Nine of Swords in reverse. 
And again, Aquarius, if you're going to get the Nine of Swords, you want it in the reverse. So this tells me that by the end of the week, um, you're going to be feeling better about this situation. There's going to be um, a more optimistic feeling. You're going to feel um, like a lot of the stress, the problems, the concerns have kind of eased and have kind of lifted. And that's a good feeling. So um, I see better days coming for you by the end of the week. The bottom of the deck, you do have the Page of Pentacles. This is the underlying energy of this connection. Now, the underlying energy um, is all throughout this, and that is of basically leveling something up. It's very small. It's not, it's not a huge leveling up. It's something small. But, you know, it's an offer of some kind. It's a tangible offer of some kind. So let's, let's look at this and see if we can clarify and figure this out. Um, why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse for Aquarius? All right, so we have the Chariot and we have the Ten of Rods in reverse. Okay, so I would say that for most of you, there is an ending here. Um, and if not, there is definitely a desire. You want to move forward from this. You felt emotionally unfulfilled. You're ready to move away from this, this connection, this um, whatever this is. And it may not even be with this person. It, it, because I'm seeing in this connection, there's, there's a lot of love. There is codependency, but there is a lot of love. Um, but what I am seeing is that there is something here that you that is ending. There is something ending, Aquarius, for you. And you have a great desire to move away from it, to, to move forward from it. And as you do so, you it is your belief that it's going to get rid of a lot of problems in your life. You're just not happy in it. Um, in fact, you're feeling really unbalanced. Why is the Two of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, it, it's, it's a love connection um, that was unsuccessful. So you're not even sure if you would, if you want to give your love to this connection anymore because it's that, it's that unbalanced. Um, yeah, you, it's just unsuccessful. You feel unsuccessful. Um, why is the two of wands here? Okay. Get, you have the wheel of fortune in reverse and you have the hermit in reverse. So this is a change you've been thinking about for a long time. You kind of have pulled back. Um, I feel like you kind of went within looking for answers. You're at this crossroads now. And you're hoping that this is going to be a change for the better. So you, you're, you've really pulled back. I feel like you're ending something, Aquarius. You're letting go of something. And you're at the precipice of something else. Um, you haven't you haven't jumped into this yet. You're at the precipice. You're trying to decide: Am I going to Am I going to do this? I'm surprised we didn't get like the the fool card, taking that leap of faith. Um, I do feel like this is something you've been thinking about for quite some time, and it's a direction. It's a new direction. But you're hoping that this new direction is going to be a change for the better because you're not happy with where you've been and you're hoping to leave those problems behind. You're trying to figure out where it is that you want to give your love because you feel like where you've given your love in the past has not been successful. Let's see who this person is that you're connecting with. Um, they have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Why? So there's a sense of them feeling unsatisfied. I feel like that card was already turned. Okay. All right, so we have the Four of Wands and we have the Emperor in reverse. So the person you're connected with here, um, they're... They're unsatisfied within their current home life. So I do feel like they're not um, taking action towards their, their current home situation. They, they got what it is that they wanted, but they're not happy with it. So they're unhappy in their home life. 
they're they're not satisfied. And for some reason I'm feeling like they they don't they're not taking any action to to solidify anything there either. Um why is the hangman in reverse? Oh, that was quick. Okay, so we have the eight of pentacles in reverse, and we have the high priestess in reverse. Okay, so they've had this realization that this this isn't working. Uh this this home leg that like this connection that they're currently in it's not working it's not working for them and it took them a while to figure this out um because they weren't using their intuition yeah but it's it's out it's out in the open it almost looks like the two of you are mirroring each other somewhat um why is the nine of wands here in reverse why is the nine of wands in reverse Okay, so there's something that they're giving up on because they they have felt betrayed. So there's a sense of wanting to give up because they felt betrayed, but there's there's just a little bit of optimism still there. Um, they almost gave up. There's a sense of betrayal. Um, but there's there's still a, a little optimism. So this person that you're connected with here, Aquarius, I feel like they're unhappy in their home life. You're unhappy in your home life. But I'm not so sure that it that that it's the same home life. It might be. Let's look at the connection. Because I'm seeing two people that are mirroring each other. Let's um. Let me look at the, the the connection. Why is the five of wands here? Why is there conflict? Okay, so we have the two of cups. So there's an argument. There's love, but there's an argument. But this person is not going to walk away. Okay. So you have emotions for this person, Aquarius. You're not going to walk away from the connection. Or they're not going to walk away from the connection. There's conflict in the connection. Can I have three for the, for the middle? It's already turned. Three for the connection. One more. Okay, so what is directly affecting this connection? All right, so <laughs> both parties unhappy. Aquarius, you're at a crossroads. You want to change for the better. This person is giving up on the connection. There's a little bit of optimism left, but overall, they're not really taking steps to make the connection more solid. Um, they they realize they're not happy. They, they've gotten what they want, but it's not making them happy. Um, I can see the conflict. I can see the argument, but I also see love. And I also see that this person that you're connected with, Aquarius, they can't walk away from the connection. So I said, what is directly affecting the connection? Well, we see that there is love here. Um, you have the Ace of Cups, which is love. It's it's a renewed sense of love, but there's also a sense of codependence. And so that is, um, that's a little bit of a concern. Now, here's the thing is that it's clarified with the Empress. So this connection has the ability to have great abundance. 
but the person you're connected with has to balance out their emotions. There is an emotional imbalance over here with this person. They need healing. There, there has to be some healing for this to come together. And for you, there is, um, you're also needing to balance things out. But for you, Aquarius, it's more of a sense of justice somehow. It's more of a putting things right, as if something has to be put right. Some, somehow something was done wrong. Now, this is not for everyone, but I have to say it because for some of you, someone is now pregnant. It, it could be for one person. I don't know who this is for, but someone is now pregnant. And that is going to um, bring this back together. So if that's not your story, just let it go. But for someone, that is their story. And you'll know who you are. So hit me up if, it, if it's you. I'm just curious. But in any event... Um, for you, Aquarius, there's a sense of justice that has to take place. And that's what's affecting this. And it has to do with the conflict. You want justice for whatever this conflict is. Let's see um, the outcome. Let me see the outcome. Because it's very interesting because I see two people that look like they're moving further and further apart. And I can see, Aquarius, you are looking for this change in a new direction. But like I said, there's going to be growth regardless of which direction you choose. But in the connection itself, I see healing taking place. So it's interesting. Um, yeah, a decision is going to be made by the end of the week. And that decision is going to bring... Um, it's going to bring a lot of peace to both of you. So I don't know what's going to happen here that, that with this decision. There's, I really feel like whatever this conflict is, is going to be resolved. Um, it's going to bring a lot of peace to both of you. A lot of peace of mind individually and together. A decision is going to be made. And that decision for you, Aquarius, is that you're not going to move away from this connection you're going to stay in this connection and for the person you're connecting with they're going to stop being so defensive um and it's going to you know basically um they're going to um all the problems that have been coming coming at them they they're going to feel a sense of peace from that it's going to resolve those problems there's going to be a resolution to that and it's going to, I don't know, it's, it's likely to do with this page of pentacles. It's going to be an offer of some sort. It's going to change everything. So, I wasn't expecting that, Aquarius. It really looked like when I did both of your energies that you're both moving away from this. Bottom of the deck, again, we have that hangman in reverse. So there's going to be something here that's going, there's going to be a, a moment of enlightenment. Um, it, both of you are going to realize something about this connection. And when that happens, that's, that's when this is going to level up. It's going, and, and it's going to be a resolution to all these problems. A decision will be made. And I don't, I don't think that this is going to move apart. In fact, it's going to, a decision will be made to put an end to this conflict and to bring peace to the connection. Yeah. So, kudos to you, Aquarius. All right. I like it. Um, let's go ahead and pull an Oracle card. Mm -hmm. well, I couldn't seem to keep that card together. It saved my life. Let's see if I can grab it. Okay. All right, I'm going to pull the book because I want to make sure that I give you the correct meaning on it. All right, so, and this is interesting. 
and very simple. I wonder if this is this is where the resolution comes in. All right, so Aquarius, it says sexual arts. Sexual arts. Bring more light into your sexuality. So there you have it. So I don't know, maybe this is, maybe there's going to be a coming together. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting reading. Very interesting reading. Um, and the fact that that is your healing card, because these are specifically designed, these oracle cards are specifically designed for healing. Um, and yours was sexual arts. And so bring more, uh, what, what did it say? Bring more um, sexuality. Let me read it again. Bring more light into your sexuality. So, and it, it really goes into a lot more depth about the feminine essence as well. We are in the age of Aquarius, so I do think that's relevant. All right, Aquarius, I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, please like and share the video and be sure that you drop me a comment. Very interesting reading. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And until I see you next week, namaste.